Yeah, I mean, it's definitely, it's definitely a great feeling to, to be able to do things that, that inspire other people, you know. And I was just talking to Christian just earlier, because Christian, you know, was away for a while from the scene, you know, and he didn't even know that I street skated, you know, um, until I ran into him and, and told him what I was doing, you know, because he left. And you know, I got him seat. back into vert skating, by the way. <laughs> just to let everyone know, I encouraged him. I said, what are you doing? Steve Caballero, the best skateboarder, vert skateboarder, pool skateboarder of all time, is not skating vert. He's like, dude, I was just over it. I'm like, dude, you're going to go skate. Yeah, I just really had to go where skateboarding was going or I was going to be left out. And I knew mm -hmm. that I saw people that were before me, if they didn't conform to what was going on, that they, they missed the boat, you know. And I've always wanted to progress with the sport. And I knew that if, if I wanted to be current and, and uh, you know, with the industry, that I needed to be in that scene. And so I told Christian, you know, I, I had a lot of rolled ankles in the early 90s trying to f learn how to flip my board and mm -hmm. I, I took some pretty heavy slams going down some rails you know and the class of 2000 video was the topper of like okay I don't want to do this anymore you know I don't need to prove myself anymore I mean I wrecked myself for that video like three times on some pretty gnarly rails and I was like I think I've come up with a part that's, that says, okay, yeah. I can do this, you know, and after those three slams, I'm like, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> Raging Waters was good because it was the first, you know, 100 foot wide ramp, you know, at a water park. I think the atmosphere was like, wow, this is, this is like a step above just a demo ramp or a competition ramp. They had this crazy Guinness Book of World Records contest there. Mm -hmm. And they had all these different categories. And I just remember, you know, them doing this one where it was like the most ollies or airs in a oh, row. Yeah. And I did like 69 of them. And, but um, I did the longest grind. I think it was like I did the 20 foot, line. 9 inches long. 20 feet, 9 inches long frontside grind yeah. on the ramp. He did the longest board slide. And... Um, we also One thing I remember is this guy beat me in the high air contest, which bummed me out. <laughs> we didn't have, when we were doing the high air, we didn't have a roll in to start with the speed to drop in to do the high air. We actually pumped our one air to another air. You had to, to gyrate from air to air yeah. and build up speed to do your high air. Yeah. So it was a little different from now today. The guys just kind of just use the speed and just drop in a huge thing to hit a. Kind of like cheat. No, just kidding. <laughs> it's just different. It's just way different. Um, it took years for me to learn the 540 after these guys had learned it, you know, and uh, I was really scared. Boy, were we lucky he didn't learn it. <laughs> <laughs> it was weird. I had, uh, I had a 12 foot wide ramp to skate, and that was the only thing I had up where I live. So if I had to learn that trick, it had to be there. And it just it just felt really sketchy on my ramp, you know, and I just didn't, didn't want to continue uh, trying to trying to learn that trick. So I, I I avoided it for years, and by me avoiding that that um, trick, it made my rankings go down. So I would be in third or fourth or fifth each contest because him and Tony, um, had, even Lance had that Mountain, trick. yeah, Lance Mountain had McGill. the trick as well. Yeah, those were the guys that yeah. did it. Gator, Gator did it. Yeah, and I don't that trick think was too many people right? did it. Eighty-four, yeah. yeah. We all so learned it. It wasn't until like eighty-eight that I actually ended up learning a, a backside melon grab five forty in a demo in New Zealand mm -hmm. with McGill. Mike. Yeah, and we just me and my, me and my, I just hung out with Mike just recently in Encinitas, and we talked about that. And I was kind of like thinking, like, have you seen the film? Right, you yeah. saw the movie. So I was thinking, man, I go, Mike, you learned that trick. By the time Lance and other guys went to to dinner, you sat and you worked on this trick for about a, a half an hour and you learned it in a half an hour. I go, that's amazing. Like, I can't believe people spend like a long time trying to learn a trick and you did it. Yeah, it in took a little me section. two months of every you know? day trying it over <laughs> and over. I mean, I didn't do anything except for try that trick. Yeah. Literally, I tried it every single day, all day, until I made it. <laughs> yeah, and then like, but then I thought about, you know what? When I learned the, the backside melon 540, I learned that in a demo. So it was almost the kind of same amount of time. It's like, you know, I'm going to think, uh, 
what I was trying to do was I could already do backside all the 360s and I thought man maybe I can do a backside all the three uh uh, a 540 like Tony, because Tony learned the McTwist without grabbing his hand, so I thought, well, I can do a 1360 backside, maybe I can do it all the way like Tony, and I just wasn't coming close, and then I thought, man, what if I just grab it? So I ended up grabbing it at Melon, and I ended up How logical. It. <laughs> yeah. And it just, it just happened, you know? And once I learned the 540, then that's when it oh, shot me back man. up the... R rankings and I ended up getting a couple first place contests because of that trick. So yeah, I always was f just so dumbfounded. But I was like, Cab, why don't you do a five? You do them like the best. He's like, dude, just don't. I'm not feeling it. I'm like, well, he knows what he doesn't want to do. You know what I mean? I remember yeah, just being kind of like, man, he would just dominate. You know, because Cab was beating people that did five forties just because of how big he went and smooth and all of his tricks, obviously, you know, doing cavalarials and, you know, he just does every trick so stylish. 